Hi, let's review this watercolor from Faber Castell. Faber Castell was a famous brand when I was a kid, and I think they are still famous today. Okay, let's see the inside. They have 12 colors here: white, yellow, two oranges, red, two greens, and two blue colors, and um, two earth colors, and a black. And you can use the back of the case as a palette, but here I choose to use my own palette. And now I'm opening them up and put just a bit of them on my palette i'm using this cute brush that they also sent me and now let's start the swatch i'm speeding up this process so you don't have to wait that long in short i made three times four rows for all 12 colors here next i'm doing the wet on dry blending test and again i'm putting down all of the colors here and next i'm gonna do the first layer of the glazing test now i'm putting down all of the colors all 12 colors and uh, vertical lines while waiting for them to dry i'm gonna start the wet on wet blending test and again i'm putting down all of the 12 colors and speeding up the process now the first layer of the glazing is dry we can start doing the second layer putting down all 12 colors in in vertical lines here I'm erasing and putting down their name and here you go my first impression of this watercolor was that the colors are so bright like so vibrant i think it's because they are also kids watercolor but as a kids bright watercolor i think it's quite okay now i will show you up close first we can see the swatch here you can see the white here is not really transparent but we can still see the black line and the rest of them is okay I think. and the other thing is um the colors they have two different oranges here instead of two yellow and two reds but i think again because this is a kids grade watercolor maybe they want to use this flash tint as a skin tone color and as for the rest of the colors i think they're okay now the wet on dry blending test i think they have a little bit of problem over here like with these colors on the end i don't know they kind of look a little bit muddy maybe because i'm not doing it right i'm not really sure but the bright colors over here they just look smoother now moving on to the wet on wet blending test i think the colors are blended nicely however we can still see that the bright colors are just better than the darker colors here now the glazing test and again i think the darker color doesn't look really good some of them are lifted up and also the white here they look transparent but lifting up all the colors we can see that these colors down here is a little bit muddy i think but some other colors are just nicely transparent like this green and the earth colors here overall i think this watercolor is quite good for a kid's grade if you want to get it for your children or your nephew niece whatever yeah go for it okay that's it for now and thank you again for faber castle for sending me this if you have any question or correction just let me know in the comment down below and thanks for watching bye